वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम सुष्मिता टूडे आई विल शो यू द एनालिसिस ऑफ ए रिटेनिंग वॉल विच कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ ए लार्ज कॉन्क्रीट वॉल विथ इनाफ मास टू रिटेन द अर्थ प्रेशर एंड सॉइल बैक्टीरियल प्रेशर यूजिंग द ओन सेल्फ वेट ऑफ द वॉल सो इट्स अ स्ट्रक्चर दैट होल्ड द सॉइल बिहाइंड इट एंड बिफोर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव टू नो अबाउट द लोड एंड द वेरियस पार्ट ऑफ द रिटेनिंग वॉल and also we have to know about the connection or the connectivity of the slab and wall so take a look here is the wall see the height of the wall is 5.5 meter and here is the slope of the wall and this is the slab which is called the base slab it is called the toe slab and uh, here is the hill slab and this part is called the stem so in this portion here is act various type of loads like the earth pressure soil backfill pressure hydrostatic pressure and active earth pressure upward pressure etc see the angle phi is 30 degree so we have to know the calculation of the coefficient ka so before going to calculate the pressure we have to calculate the coefficient ka which will be 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi so the value of phi will be 30 degree so here will be the calculation and here we have to calculate the pressure pa is equal to ka gamma into h we have to put the value of gamma which will be 16 or 18 kN per meter cube for dry soil and 20 or 21 kN 20 to 21 kN for saturated soil so we have to put the value of gamma and different height so this way we have to calculate the load from the different height and after that we have to add all the load from the various height so this way we can calculate the load very easily from the rankings method Let's starting with the StatPro software. Click on the StatPro VTI, then tick on Space, specify the file name and location, and check the unit meter per kilonewton. Then click on Next. Then click on Finish. So close this window and insert the node zero zero zero. Then insert the next point and connect these two nodes with the help of add beam cursor. Then select this beam with the help of beam cursor. Then go to translational repeat. The global direction will be Z. Then specify the number of steps one and default step spacing three point five. Then click on link step. Then OK. After that, create a four node plate here. Then select the plate with the plate cursor. Use the global direction X. then the default step spacing will be 4.5 then just click on okay after that click on this beam then go to transition and repeat global direction will be y then you have to specify the height of the wall which will be 5.5 then create the plate then select this part and transitional repeat choose the global direction y and the default step spacing minus 1 after that create a four node plate here make sure about the top surface is on top and bottom surface is on bottom so on the fill plate solid surface so it's correct 
after that take off the field plate solid surface then select all the physical member and delete all this then go to support create a fixed support select the support then select all the bottom nodes then assign to selected nodes and assign after that go to property then specify the property of the wall which will be 0.5 in node 1 and node 2 and 0.25 in node 3 and node 4 so select the wall assign to selected plate and assign create another plate with a thickness of 0.5 then assign to selected plate assign here is 3d view then go to load case details add dead load and live load there will be self void in the dead load so click on add then close select the self void assign to view and assign then click on load case 2 add then click on plate load before add the plate load we have to calculate all the load which i have already discussed in the starting of the video say the load be minus 25 click on global y add close assign the plate load in here then again click on the load case 2 then add plate load click on minus 25 in the global x direction and close after that select the plate then assign to selected plate and assign and again we have to assign the hydrostatic load or trapezoidal load click on the trapezoidal load then add the load this plate so edit this load and change the direction then click on change now it is correct which is called the lateral art pressure so the direction of the pressure will be local z then go to analysis print and analyze the structure click on ok and check the error and it shows the zero error click on deflection apply ok here is the deflection of the structure then go to plate maximum absolute then click on apply ok here is the stress diagram of the plate here is the animation of the structure case 2 and load case 1 here is the trace of the max stop go to report and click on plate this way you can create the report So this is how to analyze this retaining wall. If you like this video then subscribe my channel and share with your friends. So thanks for watching this video.